Forget fantasies of humanoid robots living equally amongst us for now. The latest trend in robotics and artificial intelligence isn't looking ahead to science fiction scenarios, but is trying instead to perfect and fully deploy technology that's actually been around for a few years. Welcome to ICRA 2019. I am so excited to be here tonight with you. That was one of the big takeaways at the 2019 International Conference on Robotics and Automation taking place in Montreal this year. Frontline researchers and firms are focusing heavily on technology that can be deployed more robustly into our everyday lives and with little or no risk of failure, the roboticists say. Think self-driving cars that will never crash or humanoids that won't bump into the people they'll be working alongside in giant fulfillment warehouses. So robots have been very good at solving tasks in structured environments such as uh, factories. But where they haven't been able to do a good job is helping out people in their homes. And there's a growing, um, growing demand for helping people live at uh, home longer. This is disabled people and elderly. And as a society, uh, we need to um, use technology to solve that. That, that problem. And we see that robots that are safe and at the same time capable can do those things. I think from a scientific basis we're seeing systems that don't just do some simple narrow task but generalized across multiple tasks and they do things like understand the causes and the effects of what they do. So you know if something is being balanced on a table they might understand why it's balanced. Essentially learning physics and learning the way things behave. So learning more and more to do cognitive things. A really exciting thing is robots that learn about people. And by learning about what people want and what they need, they serve them better. And that's a huge emerging trend. A doctor of Canadian firm Element AI calls this year's big trend the democratization of artificial intelligence. What's different from previous years? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think what I've seen the sense is um, a lot of um, democratization of AI technologies, things that uh, have been really being researched at different academic labs, and now they're maturing and entering real world applications. Uh, the reason why it's following me because my face is the biggest face within the screen right now and I'm standing right in front of the camera. So as I'm moving, it's still following me. Um, and I can take a turn. So with the telepresence. As long as my face is the biggest face, it's gonna continue, continuing following me until a bigger face comes along. If I turn around, I tilt the camera, I think it's then it's going to stop and it can't see my face anymore. But in the Can I compete to see if it follows me? Of course. The organizers say the other big trends for 2019 include the impact of e-commerce in driving robotics research and development, medical robots designed to take care of the sick or elderly, robots that will monitor climate change, plus advances in how robots interact with humans on an emotional and psychological basis. And what is so special about this robot is that it is feeling all the forces and it's very compliant, it's very soft. So I can touch along while it's doing something and I can disturb it and it's just fine with it. Huh? This is unusual for such robots which usually just move and don't feel anything. But Dukek adds that some of the robots unveiled at ICRA won't be deployed to the public for another 5 or even 10 years. Still, he says the pace of progress is accelerating. Companies large and small, from Amazon and Uber to young startups, will be showing off their advancements in robotics and artificial intelligence all week at ICRA. It's the first time the conference, now in its 35th year, comes to Canada.